So in this video, we'll just be going over how to install and access SketchUp 2021. So you just need to navigate to our website, procadsys.co.nz. And then you'll need to log in to your account. If you don't already have an account, you'll need to register for one down here by clicking this button. I've already got an account, so I can go ahead and log in here. If you've forgotten your password here, just click forgot the password link down here and it'll take you to a page to reset it. I've remembered mine, so I can log in. After you've logged in, you want to go to your 3D software downloads by clicking this link or following this menu item over here. Choose which um, virtual software you want to download. So we've got a list of softwares down here. I'm obviously after SketchUp 2021 and I'm on Windows, so I want to download this. We have Mac here if you're on Mac. You may just want to check the system requirements to make sure that your hardware on your computer is up to scratch to run SketchUp before you install it. After you've downloaded, you can just double click or left click on the install file, the SketchUp Pro.exe file to start up the install. Then just pretty much click next, next. I've already got it installed, but you'll have another next button you'll have to click before you can click finish. It'll take a couple of minutes to install. After it is installed, you can start the program up and you should be greeted with a welcome screen. It'll look something like this. I'll just sign out here so you can see it. Here's the welcome screen. So if you have a um, subscription already, you can sign in here with your ID. If you've just bought a subscription, you can attempt to sign in with the, the email that you used on your order and it might prompt you to make a Trimble ID or you might already have one automatically created for you. If you don't already have a Trimble ID associated with whatever email you put in here, at the next screen, it'll either prompt you for putting your password if you do have an ID or it'll prompt you to create a Trimble ID if there's not already one associated with that email. So if you're looking to download the 30 day or access the 30 day trial for SketchUp, this is how you would do it. You would um, put in your email address here. And if you've never used SketchUp and never accessed the trial before, you'll get a 30 day trial associated with this email after you've logged in. So I've already got a subscription associated with my account so that when I log in here, signed in, it's going to tell me if I come over here to manage licensing, that I've got a subscription status active until that date. If um, I didn't have a subscription, I'd never use SketchUp. It would have come up with a 30 day trial here. If you have already used a 30 day trial up with SketchUp before, then the, you would have no access to SketchUp after signing in still. Um, the other way to access SketchUp is with a classic license. So some of our older users might use this method. So down here, when you start up SketchUp and get the welcome screen, you can click add classic license and click add license again, and just copy and paste your serial number and authorization codes from the email we've sent you. And that, that will uh, activate your classic license once you click that button there. So that, those are the main ways to access SketchUp. I'm just going to sign in again, just so you can see the templates. And click files over here. So these are the default templates that SketchUp comes with. So I can move the heart to set up a default one that I want it to start with. I'm going to move the heart to architectural millimeters so that whenever I start up a new SketchUp file, it'll use that template by default. Uh, we can show you how to set up your own custom template in later videos. 